Okay, here's a quick look at the bench that I built a while ago. Uh, it's finished now. This is on a, an old hardwood pallet. All the pieces. Uh, strangely, there was some very different wood and some very nice hardwood. Um, plugged the screw holes in the top, used pocket hole jig to put it together and uh, filled some of the gaps with epoxy. So there she is. Uh, it's got about three coats of Scandinavian oil. It's uh, looking pretty good. Pretty impressed. Okay, so I got two fairly large old pallets uh, stacked there. I'm gonna denail them. Denail them, I'll run them through the planer, take a look at what the wood looks like, and then uh, cut them down for use. The plan is to make uh, a couple of hallway benches. Okay, so I denailed most of the wood, although some has nails in the end, and that's all right because I know where they are and uh, it's not going to affect the planer or the project. Here's some small slats, but uh, more importantly, have these four wide pieces, which are, you know, about five inches. Some four inch pieces here, about five of them, six of them actually, but one's a bit screwed up. So uh, I'll run them through the planer and uh, see what they look like. Okay, so here is the post turned out, so looking pretty good. Haven't done these smaller ones yet. Uh, as you can see here, have some reddish wood, might be merbu. Uh, some middle red wood. You can see the difference between the two reds. So, uh, you're coming up not bad. Coming up not bad. Should be a nice looking bench. Uh, may just oil it, might poly it to, to let these different wood colors and grains show through. Okay, so I managed to make a lot of dust, but um, the boards look pretty good. I'm going to fill some of the nail holes with black epoxy. Uh, pretty common look. As you can see there, the grays on the side, that's what it looked like before I planed it down. There's a lot of nice red wood, which might be merbu. There's one in there that's really dense and dark. I think it might be a walnut. That's not it. This is, uh, I'm not sure, some eucalypt of some sort or other. But uh, a few different shades, as you can see. And uh, very happy with how it turned out, I think clear coated bench is going to look great. Okay, so I have planed and sanded most of the pieces. They're still pretty dusty, so I'll clean them up. There's the legs. And uh, over here, the stringers for the bottom. And the bench top. I filled these with uh, black epoxy to fill the nail holes. Uh, still needs a bit of sanding and the edge is done. Then I will uh, assemble the bench and oil it with Scandinavian oil. Okay, so I've sanded to 180. I'll leave the 240 to the final bit. I've rounded over the edges with that 80 grit foam sanding block on uh, all of the pieces. And uh, I'm gonna start assembly. Okay, so I'm using a pocket hole jig and some pocket holes for the top of the frame. The bottom of the frame I'm going to uh, drill and plug so uh, we'll see that when we get to it. Okay so here's the basic setup. I'm using a quarter inch piece of plywood which I'll clamp down to space the rails on the legs. Okay so just to show you my, here's a better line my workbench is level and the bench is not. So I need to take a couple mil off three of the legs. I've already taken it off there and there's the short leg. So pretty easy Japanese saw. Of course it cuts as you pull towards you. Keeps it pretty 
straight line. And there it is. I'll do the last one and check it and I'll use some sandpaper to finish it off level. Um, and then I'll put some felt feet on the bottom after it's finished. Okay, so I've mocked up the bench and wiped off most of the dust. I'm still waiting for a bit of glue to dry. I'm gonna put in a few more screws and um, I wiped it down with water so it's raised the grade. I'm gonna knock it back with a 320 sanding block before final finishing. Okay, so I decided to do quite a bit more filling with the uh, epoxy. I'm using West Epoxy, uh, colored black, thickened. And you can see there's a bunch of runs here which I'm about to scrape off before it gets too hard. And tomorrow we'll finish sanding that off. Um, plug some of the holes and that's it. So these things here will be sawed off flush with the rail and uh, they'll get a screw each through the top and then plugged. And same here, screw hole and a plug in the opposite car here, here, and here on both sides. And so there it is. Sanding and plugs and then oil finish. Okay, so here is the bench with uh, two coats of Scandinavian oil on it. Uh, there's a bit of lint stuck to it right now because I just wiped it with a cloth which wasn't that clean. Clean from oil, but not clean from lint. Okay, so I think it looks pretty good. And I'll show you what it looks like after the third coat and when it's dry.